everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be looking at the process of how we created these five and a half inch hollow bronze busts. We're going to be using the Frozen Sonic Saber to cut out a section of the base to allow for a hollow core when we get to the investment. Having taken the bottom off we keep and place the small slab on the back of the sprue to attach later with some welding. A detail you might notice about these 3D prints is the small 3 to 4 millimeter holes periodically throughout the bust. This is something we did while slicing the file in Lychee Slicer which helped with the suction forces of such a large print and as an added bonus along with the bottom of the sculpture will help hold the investment core in place. If the core isn't properly supported and it breaks away and then drops, the cast is effectively ruined. There are many ways to create a core when casting sculpture. This could include having large openings at the top and the bottom of your sculpture, using nails or other embedded objects through your sculpture to hold the core, or using several small openings like we're doing for this project. You may wonder, why create a hollow sculpture at all? if having a core is such a difficult thing to maintain. Halloween primarily helps mitigate shrinkage and casting defects from pouring such a hot, solid amount of metal. Of course, it also drops the overall weight, which means it costs less for the client. The overall weight drop may also be a good thing for the client depending on the end use case. It makes managing the melt easier because as a jewelry studio, we are not at a foundry scale and we can't do more than two kilograms of bronze at any given time. And lastly, the burnout is easier. Those of you that have been experimenting with casting from 3D prints would also know that the thicker your 3D print is, the harder it is to cast. The keen eyed among you may have noticed that we use newspaper on the Kea as a form of gasket. The truth of the matter is we only had one poor quality gasket that fit this size of flask as we don't use it a lot and it basically gave up the ghost halfway through this project. A thick stack of soaked newspapers works great. If glass blowers can get away with shaping molten glass with wet newspaper by hand then it should be fine for our use. Overall with a little bit of a twist and downward pressure it created a really good seal and didn't smolder as you might expect. When casting this print, we went with a 36 to 100 investment ratio for an eight hour burnout. Once cast, we had the job of taking care of all of those small holes and filling them back in. We had some sprues from a previous cast laying around, so we drilled out the holes to the exact size and countersunk them, creating small bevels for the weld to fill. Once hammered in place, we could then weld and blend them away. As a client commissioned, this particular client wanted the pieces to have a high polish finish. For those that haven't seen our three part series on filing, sanding, and polishing, I would definitely recommend checking that out using the link in the description down below. We were super happy with how this commission turned out and we hope you all learned something about this hollow casting process. See you all in the next video.